just another Jesuit hating on Jews again. But, of course, uh, the earth is now flat. It's been confirmed by a Jesuit, so we can just uh, put all our thoughts to rest now. Never mind the countless evidence that uh, no pictures yet, that the earth is actually flat. Um, these guys just come out with uh, the earth is any shape they want. They might come out next week and say, well, it's actually a triangle. You know, we've got the highest patent within the entire world for observatories and we've been observing the stars and the, the moons and the sun for hundreds of years but we were just wrong you know we, we're just jumping on the bandwagon of the flat earth and all, all along we thought it was round but you know it's a spherical but now it's now it's just flat so you just got to believe whatever these uh, chimps actually talk about of course they got an agenda let's just talk about that now this is just one website um, dedicated to the flat earth deception showing countless evidences that uh, it's not in fact a flat earth it's uh, it is a, a round spherical shape um, pictures and so on and so on um, now what you got to understand is that they have an agenda to bring out a luciferian religion and so they, of course they want to try to disprove a lot of science okay but there is real science and there is uh, science which uh, does prove certain things but they just want you to follow after whatever the Catholic Church says if the Catholic Church says the earth is a cabbage the earth is like a bowling ball the earth is like uh, a, a snooker table maybe it's like a pool table maybe it's like uh, a swimming pool maybe it's like a triangle, maybe it's like a, a pyramid and they just keep on changing the shape and the gullible sheep just follow along you know their their gums dragging on the ground just uh, unable to think for themselves when you've got this countless evidence you know how does the moon get its uh, phases we know it's the shadow of the earth that's, that's cast upon the moon when the sun is behind the earth but you know they, they have their own stupid uh, explanation which doesn't make any sense you know, if, if, if you could actually prove it you know set up the experiment and try and prove their version of things can't do it okay just can't do it um, so there we go just countless evidences there that yes the earth is in fact a sphere and that these lame brains just want to uh, use you to bring in their Luciferian religion where they get to tell you absolutely everything what to think, what to do, when to pray, what to pray, who to pray to Satan their God and it's just one big fat sigh up the flat earth deception and I know people that have had dreams of spirits coming to them including myself to tell me that the earth is flat and they're pretending to be an angel and they're a demon because you know I, I'm, I'm not wet behind the ears as a Christian I've been a Christian for a long time so I'm not deceived by this uh, rubbish absolute garbage and the thing is I've got far more important things as Satan knows to get on with um, this is just a sidetrack this is just, uh, it's more than a sidetrack to the initiated right enough because they got to get you to believe it's a flat earth so they can bring in more deceptions later on so all the people that believe it's a flat earth you know they're hook line and sinkered uh, into this uh, deception um, not everyone, not every Christian teaches that the earth looks like this they'll say oh it's in the bible that the earth has got a dome and it's in the Bible that the this and the no, it's not. It's a matter of interpretation. One must interpret the scriptures uh, through prayer, through the Holy Spirit. Not watching flat Earth videos, which don't make any sense whatsoever. Nobody's had a vision yet about uh, the Earth being flat. Nobody. Oh, Jesus showed me that the Earth was flat, and then they go off into this rant about something else. The, the spaghetti monster, you know, mice on Mars and stuff like that, and it's just, uh, just need a slap around the head. That's what I think.
here's an example of being in a plane this is a straight line and you can see there is a slight curvature in the horizon there proving the earth is spherical again right um, just loads of stuff loads of things that prove your cabbage now this is also the Catholic Church and the Jesuits within the BBC um, one of the weather girls a few years ago referred to Ibrox where Rangers actually play their home games as Castle Grayskull <laughs> but little do they know within like uh, he man Castle Grayskull is where the good guys stay every time they try and have a dig they just don't have the mental capacity to and this is what happened to poor old Jim McLean, one of the greatest coaches uh, Scotland has ever seen. Took them the United to various uh, European finals, one, one of them I think. And the other ones, the stupid Catholic SFA made them play three games in a week. I think they were playing, uh, I forget it was Real Madrid in the final, I can't remember. But this is what happened. So, I remember Alex Ferguson banning the BBC as well. And... Uh, you know, before you do an interview with someone, you you you're given the questions and you say, "Well, don't don't uh, give me that question yet. I, I do not want to answer that question. I will address it in my own time." But uh, of course, they just go ahead and ask it, and this is what happened. Successful manager, but in recent times his relationship with the fans and the media has gradually deteriorated. On Saturday, it reached a new low. The manager rightly picks his team. He picks his team on the part and he picks his team off the part. And there's no doubts at all that uh, if I'm passing the buck, then I'm passing the buck. Uh, I say again, there is absolutely no way that I will walk away from this situation. How long do you give Alex Smith to get it right on the park? Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. Well, you think I'm going to answer a stupid question like that? I'm only asking it. Well, Could I you told do you earlier I wouldn't be f answering it. And make sure that that's cut. And I'll tell you something. Don't f ever offer me that again. Well, in case you didn't know, that was Jim McLean smacking the actual uh, reporter. Which uh, he stood down from his position at that time as chairman of Dundee United. And the club hasn't really recovered from that. And you're getting uh, you know, the Catholic Jesuit run Celtic Football Club just uh, completely dominating Scottish football now. Of course, uh, this guy was uh, very much pals with a lot of the Jesuits and Catholics in the UK. Had a house in Scotland as well, this pedophile. And, uh, you know, it's, it's just uh, amazing that you know, at the turn of the Reformation, Catholicism was banned from Scotland and now it's within every single... Uh, structure within the UK again this is like Scottish Comedy Central things we could blow up the flats which I think we've already done countless times Edinburgh which is obvious I'm not sure about the other ones here and then I've got Ibrox here just uh, for the Catholics to have a, a giggle at of course you know this is apparently uh, was Glasgow City Council's list <laughs> I suppose I suppose it'd be right I suppose uh, and this was a guy, a Rangers fan, who was having a go at Neil Lennon, and I think he got told to leave the university. So his entire career um, down the tubes, his entire livelihood, his entire life just thrown to the dogs because he had a little joke there. He's got a sense of humour, you know. But you're not allowed to have a sense of humour anymore in Scotland. You can if it's against Rangers or Protestants. You can laugh at that. You're allowed to do that, but... Uh, not against uh, the Catholic Church, or not at all. Oh no, they have to be taken very seriously. All their flat earth uh, talk and everything. You know, they're just the they're just the brain boxes, and you know, you got to listen to these guys. Very interesting. Ali McCoy, uh, of course, uh, the terrible time with the BBC while well, he was the manager of the Rangers. BBC is just literally, it should be called the Catholic Broadcasting Company, CBC, that's what it should be called. There's the He-Man dig there, Castle Grayskull, interesting. I know Jock Steen wasn't a Catholic either, you know, the greatest ever Celtic manager was, was a Protestant. They don't like talking about that though. 
and their best ever player Kenny Dalglish was a Rangers fan. <laughs> but that's just facts they don't like to bring up of course. Uh, there's a weather girl having a pop in 2006. Fans flooded the BBC with complaints after Kirsten McKay, but BBC weather girl referred to Ibrox as Castle Grayskull. <laughs> Funny. And here's uh, Mrs. Popular herself. In the Jesuits and all other Catholic orders was the Jesuits deliberately invited demonic spirits into their followers. And he goes on. The Jesuits have always been enemies of the Bible since the Catholic Church ranks papal decree and tradition above the scriptures anyway. Decreasing confidence in the scripture increases confidence in pastors, priests, and the Pope as authorities that we know more than the common man can. We oh, well, there we go. Uh, you can just believe whatever they say, of course, you know. Uh, nah, not for me. Not for me, guys. Have a nice day.